Good morning, Steve. Uh, my name is Amit and I'm from India. And I'm pretty lucky to have the last question here. Uh, my question is non-technical and I really want an honest answer from you. You may give a yes or no, or we choose to give a descriptive one. I've been watching Microsoft and working with Microsoft products over the years. And I, this is my first MVP summit and it's really uh, my privilege to be here and uh, to hear you live and see you live. You are the CEO of Microsoft Corporation. Uh, billions of dollars in revenue, more than 80,000 team members working in more than 200 countries worldwide. Do you get sound sleep? <laughs> Seriously, I sleep extremely well. And long. I, I need seven to eight hours a night. I get seven to eight hours a night. And if the question is, do, are there things that worry me, the answer is sure. I worry about many things. I worry about uh, our company and keeping agile and our desire to have all of the best and the brightest people working for us or partnering with us. I worry and think and wonder about how we're going to come from behind where we're behind and stay ahead where we're ahead. I worry and wonder about financials. But the day you don't sleep well, I think it's probably a day that you shouldn't keep doing the kind of job I'm doing. You have to be realistic when you're awake about where you are and confident enough that you can go to sleep when it's time to go to sleep. And I'm not trying to be facetious. It's one of the things that I think leaders have to sort of get their mind around is this notion of balancing. In most things, people like things to be black or white. We're in good shape or we're in bad shape. And a leader has to be able to realistically say what needs to improve and confidently say what's good. People want to know, are we vetting short term or long term? And a leader's got to say, we're going to perform well short term and invest in the long term. And I don't just mean this in kind of a fluffy, silly way. But you've got to balance what I would call the yin and yang of life very well. I think we all have to do it, but certainly anybody who, who leads an organization has to do it of any size. And sleeping is part of that. I mean, it's a, it says you're confident enough, and yet what people really want to hear is, do you have trouble sleeping at night because there's so much on your plate? And I think you've got to have enough confidence that you're going to be able to do a good job 16 hours a day, that you can, frankly, sleep well the other eight hours uh, a night. I have to say, probably my only hard time sleeping comes on the many occasions when I fly to your home country, the 12 and a half hour time difference is really kind of a drag when it comes to sleeping. So I'm glad to see you so bright and energetic. Just like you, I had a hard time too when I came all over from India here. 12 hours of lifetime, so it was, it was really my pleasure to be here. Well, it's okay, great so to have you here, great to have you all.